Hello and welcome to the first in a long time of a happy video vlog. Um, what we're going to talk about is we're going to introduce the new Habby Bounce case, which is fresh with, with us this week. Um, so it's November 2019. We're also going to show you the existing steel case, which has had some modifications recently to it. Uh, we're going to go through basically how we attach the Habby units to the tools and equipment. So we've got a battery tool there. As you can see, the Habby unit, if it goes into a steel case, it just literally slots in to the Habby and there's a little recess at the back and you just get some cable ties and they go through the back and you can tie it onto the tool or the piece of equipment that you're using. Alternatively, it does come with a Velcro strap. So any way in which you can attach it to the tool but go through the gaps at the back will work absolutely fine. Um, uh, next bit is the Habby case, the rubber Habby case. I've got the dog behind me sort of sniffing around. So you'll have to bear with us if he jumps up. Uh, the Habby goes into the rubber case like that, just exactly like it would with the steel case. But what we've developed this for is more so for the aircraft and vehicle industries where you've got a lot of finishing on. Um, basically with, this, with the steel case, it can cause scratches. So if you are in an industry where you're sort of trying to get a nice finish using sanders, the rubber case is perfect for that. Um, now, a lot of the time as well, we don't usually attach, you're not using this sort of type of equipment. You might be using equipment that's airline, so it might be a bit smaller. So what we advise our clients to do is have a little extension hose that fits onto the back of, let's say a sander or a small sort of die grinder or whatever, and literally the heavy unit fits perfectly onto the extension hose just like that. And again, all it needs is the cable tie in and around it. I'll show you how quick it is. Just attach it through. And that's it. That's how easy it is to do it. So, I'll show you as well, just show you the watch. I'm sure everyone's aware of the watch. It has been out a couple of years, but I'll just show you how easy it is to pair it through. There we go there. So you literally hold down the top button on the watch, goes into pairing mode, you click the white button there, and it literally pairs straight away. Um, and again, it, regardless of what case it's in, it'll work absolutely fine either way. If you noticed in the metal case, we've got little gaps in the steel case and that makes the connectivity basically easier and better and smoother. So I'll hold down the top button again, press the white button and it pairs instantly. Really simple stuff. Um, get in touch if you want some more information. These are available now online on the website. Um, but that's just introducing it really. Thanks ever so much for watching and we'll be back soon with another update. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs>